What up, YouTube? This is the man743. Welcome coming back with another video. And today I decided to go ahead and do a video to show you guys that I have connected my Acer Expire 1 D250 um, to a computer screen. I got the wireless keyboard, which you see there, with the wireless mouse. I got my speakers connected. And I've got it hooked up to my Acer D250 Expire 1 netbook. And I was wanting to get a full-size computer, guys, again, because this netbook was my only computer source. And after a while, it starts to be a pain in the butt looking at the small screen with the small writing. So... For a while, I was thinking about, well, let me just go on eBay and just buy a full-size desktop computer. And then I was thinking, let me go ahead and just get a computer screen, which I bought on eBay, this HP. And I paid about 55 bucks for it. It's a 15-inch. Um, I also got this cable for eight bucks to connect it from the computer screen to my netbook computer. Um, these two ports here is the USB and the audio jack to go to my speakers here. And um, I got the wireless keyboard that I also bought from eBay. It was $20. I got the keyboard and the wireless mouse so basically um, I've rigged everything hooked everything up really nice so the only thing I have to do to power this on guys is to just basically hit the power button on here and just close it down now let me turn on my power here and I'm just gonna close this down and I guess and it's going to go ahead and start to bring up the Windows 7 Home Edition operating system. So now I can just take this and push it on in. And I can just completely, got to turn my mouse on, forget all about that. Trying to do this with one hand, guys. Bear with me. All right, there we go. All right, so let me just put my password in. Let you guys check out the keyboard. I mean, check out the speaker for a second. And I'm going to stop this real quick so I can kill this light guy. So just bear with me. Well, let's just go ahead and go back into this. That way I can go ahead and kill the light so it's not reflecting really. Well, I guess I don't really have to kill the light. No, that's cool, guys. I thought it was going to be too bright for the screen, but it isn't. So, yeah, guys. You know, just to really sweet way on saving on have to go and buy a full desktop computer because you know this netbook was my only source of internet access as far as downloading files and stuff so I decided just to go ahead and um, buy a computer screen I bought the 15 inch HP for about 55 bucks I bought the VGA cable and the wireless keyboard and the mouse 20 bucks for the wireless keyboard and the mouse but this seems to be working pretty good guys seems to be working pretty good um 
might go into some music. Which this is stuff that's already preloaded in Windows 7, but just to show that everything works good and you know the music plays okay. Excellent sound coming through the speakers. So I just wanted to do that really quick. Show you guys that everything is fully functional. Um, and when you do connect this to a netbook, to a computer screen, um, if I can just go back down. Sorry guys, I gotta use both hands, but um, both screens are operationable. So as you can see it's loading up Firefox and you will get both images on both screens. But basically what I do is I just close this down and just basically use the keyboard and the wireless mouse and just go from there so I'm gonna go ahead and just type in Hulu back to the screen But I love this a lot better, guys, because that netbook screen, oh my God, it's like looking at that every day, you know, it was just a little bit too much for my eyes, and I just couldn't do it anymore. I just had to get some other type of source of a, either I was thinking about just getting another full-size desktop computer, or just getting a bigger screen to connect this to with a wireless keyboard and mouse and this seemed to work pretty good now right now the reason why this is running kinda slow is because it does have one gigabyte of RAM which I have ordered two gigabytes for my Acer Expire 1D250 um, I ordered that on eBay today I should see that in the mail by Monday or Tuesday most likely I'll probably see it by Tuesday, so I'm going to make a video installing that into my Acer Expire 1 D250s, so just, so just stay tuned for that. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. So I just want to show you guys the setup and how I got everything hooked up. And, you know, it's pretty easy to set everything up, guys. Um, <clears throat> if you have a TV, you can set it up the same way through your television. Just take the VGA cable and connect it to the back of your TV screen. Or if you don't have that and you have a computer monitor, a flat screen computer monitor, you can do it the same way. Um, if you got some speakers, connect your USB cable if you have the regular audio jack connect that to your netbook connect this to your uh, USB connector and just make sure you got an internet connection and all that guys and you're good to go this is the man 7431 signing out if you guys like the video give me a thumbs up um, like the video and comment down if you got any questions I'm gonna catch you guys on the next one peace